Joining us now is Sherry Goodman, and she is Senior Strategist, Center for Climate and Security. And thanks so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Let's talk about the effects of climate change and its effect on national security. Absolutely. Climate change is a threat multiplier on national security. It magnifies, amplifies, if you will, all the other threats that we face around the globe. We see major power competition opening up in the Arctic as it melts, sea ice retreats, temperatures warm, permafrost collapses. Russia, China, and the U.S. are all building and expanding their capabilities to operate in a melting Arctic. We see drought conditions amplified across much of the equatorial regions of the planet. In Africa, um, in particular, and the Middle East, we see people facing increasing food and water insecurity from drought conditions now migrating and fleeing and also becoming vulnerable to terrorist and extremist groups. Those are just two of the many examples in the way climate change is affecting our national security and homeland security. What are some of the political concerns regarding climate change? Well, the main concern is that we need to mobilize and act now um, because we're you know, fast approaching a precipice where we won't be able to um, pull back and where the conditions are gonna become so extreme that we're really leaving our children a different world than the one we live in today. Yeah, and talking about our children, what are some of the things that we can teach and address in terms of the threat of climate change moving forward? Well, uh, we can teach people to understand and assess the impacts to take the science that's here at AGU and translate it into assessment and action. That's a continuum, a, a process that we need to take the science and translate it into action today to make our societies, our communities, and individuals more resilient to climate impacts. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.